there, Lydia. Can I come in for a second? Listen, Lydia. I need to take Slava from school earlier today. Can I leave, please? It would really mean a lot to me. Uh, Olya, you know I don't like all this. Tell me honestly what happened. My husband started drinking. Again. He didn't do it for a year, but now... He went to his brother's anniversary and lost it. I'm afraid he's gonna do something... bad to our son. Sure, fine, you can go. Don't let Kavrigan see you. He's totally not in the mood. Mm -hmm. And there's one more thing. If you need something, a place to, um, to spend the night or anything else, you call me right away, all right? Thank you, Lydia. Did you let her go again? Your kindness is gonna get you fired. What if Kavrignan finds out? He won't know if you don't tell him, Riza. We feel bad for Olya. She should have thought about whom to marry. She fell for him when they were in school. He didn't drink back then. Oh, we were all young once, beautiful and promising back then. And what now? I mean, she's a middle-aged woman with a child. Oh, look there, Lydia. Your Anton is here. Oh, I actually wanted to leave earlier, too. And of course I'm not packed. Don't worry about it. He always waits very patiently for you. He's a golden husband. Mm. Tell me, how can I teach my crazy husband that trick, huh? Well, I don't know. He's always been like this. Very patient. All right, goodbye, everyone. Oh, the key. Mm. I tell you what, she's totally oblivious. He's been tolerating her for 20 years. How's he not sick of her? Oh, don't say that. She's kind, beautiful, and she's also oh. practical. Mm -hmm. And do you think the family life actually needs kindness? What about passion? The night cuckoo would out cuckoo any day cuckoo. Have you heard about it? Answer me this, how can she wear the same coat for five years? How is she not sick of it? That's really a fashion designer? Indian Summer. Look, I nearly forgot. The main news. We've got an order. Oh, really? Yes, investors mm. from Moscow have appeared. Tomorrow I'm going there to pitch the project. That's great, I'm glad for you. <laughs> Do you have anything new? Oh, I don't really see what could be new. Tell <sighs> me, as for dinner... I bought everything, don't worry about it. I also bought chocolate sauce and ice cream, and some fruits for Sonia. She's not been looking good lately. Perhaps she's not getting enough sleep. Oh, you magic man. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll park the car in a okay, moment. Okay, sounds good. <sighs> Would you like more cognac? No, I don't, thanks. I better smoke another one. Hmm? You already had your only cigarette. For the entire week. Only yesterday. All right. It's a deal. Then I'll go and fix the pipe in the bathroom. Thank you very much for the dinner. It was very delicious. Mm. Oh. Mm. Hello there, Mom. Hello there, Sonia. What's up, Dad? Hello, my dear. Hey, listen, take a look. 
I bought your favorite chocolate sauce and ice cream. <laughs> dad, you're spoiling me, as always. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Make fun of your old dad. I can take it. Give it your best <laughs> shot. Come on, you're not old, Dad. Girls at the university asked me yesterday. Tell us who was meeting you. They said to invite you to come and dance with us. Do what? Come out to dance? <laughs> at my age, daughter? <laughs> <laughs> dad, just so you know, men in their 40s can be incredibly attractive. You see, women like their wit and experience. Our peers don't have any of it. How do you know all this? Mmm, I read about it in a magazine. <laughs> in a magazine? All right, Dad, I have to run now. Bye. Bye, everyone. Well, what do you want to tell me, that our daughter grew up? <sighs> You're reading my inner thoughts, Lydia? Well, that's logical, after so many years. No, I think she's a smart girl. She takes after you. Your intellect. You know what I think as a mother. I just want her happy, and that's enough for me. But it's not enough for me. I mean, I've been trying to be her friend her entire life. But she... She changed somehow. She's become somewhat withdrawn. I'm a bit worried about her. Well, she's a girl. She's grown up. Perhaps there may be something else she doesn't want to tell you. Hmm. Perhaps she'll tell you. Me? Hmm, I don't know. I'm not worried. She'll tell me if she wants. But I am worried. Will you at least enlighten me if she tells you? I mean, I'm her parent too, after all. <laughs> I know you're a parent. We never kept a single secret from you. Um, well, all right. But if there is something to tell you, I promise. All right. <laughs> Hey, Lydia, it's Wednesday, right? Listen, the Vasilyevs must already be waiting for us. I'll go to Vasilyevs alone. You see, Sveta called. Why? Well, Sasha left her. They are gonna get a divorce. Sasha did? When, though? I don't know anything. We only talked on the phone. I think I'll sleep over at her place to support her, all right? Therefore, I don't think you should come, okay? Oh, all right. We can't build a building higher than five stories. This is the historical center. You'll solve everything at the place. It's simpler to grease the wheels in the native city than in Moscow. I don't know. I need to think about it. Anyway, I'm going to smoke. Is anyone coming? I'll be back soon. Showed up ten minutes late. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> yes. No, he was so upset. I'm sure. <laughs> yes, I know. But at the same time, I didn't even want to go on the date. <laughs> I know it, it happens. Matter. I'm never gonna see him again. <laughs> well, yeah, but still, that's not nice. <laughs> I know. Tanya. <gasps> oh, Anton. <laughs> Tanya. <laughs> Anton. <laughs> Svetkov, That's right. Is it you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Anton, what are you even doing here? I'm, what brings I'm here you on business. here? You nearly left without even recognizing uh -huh. me, right? <laughs> well, this, this is because you become even more beautiful. Oh, dear. I've just been remembering recently. Goodness. Oh, come on. It's not true. Why? Come on. It's true, really. Well, you know I don't lie. I can swear. I was thumbing through our old college photos. And I found one where we were all in the same yeah, company. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> You're just as honest and open. Look, Anton, this is amazing. To run into you like this now. Hey, listen, girls, why don't we celebrate the reunion, huh? No, just a thanks. little, huh? I need to go oh, now. Oh, sorry. This is my friend Vera. This is Anton. <laughs> uh, hi, my name's Anton. Nice to meet you. Vera, come on. Stay a little while longer. No, no, I really should go. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, then, Tanya. <laughs> Anton, let's go somewhere else. Actually, I'm only here because of Vera. She lives nearby and my partners are waiting for me there. My partners are too. Oh, really? Which ones? Uh -huh. Yeah, over there. The men at that table. Ah, those ones, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> I know them. <laughs> oh, really? Are they your partners too? 
Yes. Oh, really? Let's go and apologize <laughs> together. So you married Dima, and I went to the summer practice. I came to the dance hall there and saw her. She wore a beautiful dress and was so quiet and shy, so homelike. <laughs> and I married her straight away. And then Sonia was born. Hmm. So Sonia's your older daughter? Well, yes. Older and, and only. <sighs> yeah. Your life must be boring, everything according to schedule. <laughs> well, it gets boring sometimes, but we prefer to call it a family tradition. Really? And what traditions do you have? Well, for example, we go to the movies on Saturdays. That's always a fun one, definitely. <laughs> uh, on Fridays, visit friends. <laughs> I guess it's not that exciting. We also pretend to be in the mafia. <sighs> mafia. Mm -hmm. Do you go to the city too? We do, actually. You're the same person you've always been, inside the box. <laughs> the man with everything planned out, and as for me, nothing changed. No kids, no traditions. Hold on a second. Doesn't Dima love children? <laughs> are you insane? Dima and I are divorced almost 10 years ago. Oh, really? Oh, it was all somewhere in another life, out of my head. And I'm entirely different now. Well. I can definitely tell you one thing. You haven't changed. In any way whatsoever. You're still so beautiful to me. Really. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> Let's go. Ah, oh, look, it's getting really chilly. <laughs> I suggest we have a coffee. Oh, uh, where's that? Right over there. Oh, here. Yeah, I've got a really good personal coffee machine up on the 12th floor. Oh, do you work here? <laughs> yeah, Anton, I happen to. This is my office. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Miss Georgievna. Leonid called you. Mm -hmm. Um... Redirect all of my calls to Shumov. I've got an important guest. Here you go. It's great here. Did you think I was a simple engineer? I built it on my own from scratch, with no support. It took me 10 years. Tanya, I... I'm amazed. I haven't met women like you, really. Yeah. It's a pity I have no one to share it with. Oh, come on. I mean, you have so much going on for you. You're, you're young, beautiful. And energetic? You have a stable income and your own business? Yeah, yeah. I have a business. <laughs> and a stable income. <laughs> I also have a house. <laughs> and a flat nearby. Let's go to my place. Is it comfortable? <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. And so how did Dima leave? How did he leave? Like people usually do. He left me a little note saying, don't write to me, don't wait for me. I'm leaving you, Tanya, something like that. He forgot to mention that he left me with debt. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> On top of it, he left me pregnant. That's all right. I know now that I can only count on myself. <laughs> no, stop. Listen, don't pity me. You know I don't like it, Anton. I'm sorry, it's just a habit. I somehow feel like we're both 20 years old. <laughs> no, I assure you, we're not 20 years old, not even by a long shot. Tell me, who's the man in the photo in the hallway? Oh my god, you're so cute. In the hallway. <laughs> He's no one, really. A fellow. Is he good? <laughs> he 
He's good, he's bad. It's as if we're freshmen or something. <laughs> I'm really sorry. But it seems to me that we're freshmen again. That we're kids. All right, Tanya, it's late. I have to go. You're leaving early. I need to catch the train, too. I'll go. <laughs> Stay here. Where would you go? It's late at night. But it's uncomfortable. What is uncomfortable? You can just stay here for the night. I'll make a bed for you in the living room. But you have a flight in the morning, don't you? Why can't you forget that plane? Come on, I can cancel it. After all, I mean, what are you afraid of? You can tell your wife that you were working on the project. I'll just give Kirill a call and he'll solve all of your problems with the construction permit. No, Tanya, don't do it. I can do it. Oh, come on, don't do it. I know what to do myself. After all, Anton, you've known me for a thousand years, and you're just as shy as a girl. You really are. And why are you so late? Mom, is Dad home yet? He's on a work trip. You should remember those things. He would be very upset if he knew when you came home. Mom. I'm asking you, why are you so late? Well, I'm a big girl now. Really? It's funny, I actually didn't notice. All right, when are you going to introduce him to me? Introduce who? Come on, who? The boy who makes you not see anything in front of you and just shine like a star all the time and run somewhere. I've connected all the dots and realized that you're going on dates together. Am I wrong? <laughs> There's nothing I can hide from you. I'll introduce him soon. To you first, and then Dad will meet him. Are you embarrassed what Dad will think? Mom. Oh, come here. Is he handsome? Yes. Clever? Very clever. I'm not <laughs> asking if he's noble. He, he's going out with you, isn't he? What's his name? His name's Jenna. Oh, that's a beautiful name. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jenna from Dad's work, Ma. Uh, what, 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 what do you mean, Jenna from Dad's work? What do you mean, Jenna from Dad's work? You mean th that Jenna? He's older than me. Well, so what? Oh, so what? He's married. He has two kids, I think. So what if he is married? So what if he has kids? That's all right, Mom. He'll tell you Sonia. everything. Sonia! Mom, I'm just hungry. I'm going to cook something for us. Don't worry. Oh. It's good here, Tanya. But I think I should really be going. I have to, I have to solve problems with the, with the project. <sighs> then I'll get on the train and, mm -hmm. and my, and my family will be, they'll be waiting for me. All right. Thank you for everything. Anton, I've solved all of your problems. Call your partners, they'll agree to any conditions you offer. <sighs> you know, I have a suggestion for you. Hadn't you considered moving to Moscow? Forever? I'm ready to help you with work. I've known you for ages. <laughs> we are, we're old friends. Tanya, my dear, I... I was very glad. Although I, I really don't know what, what made me more glad. Was it the fact that I met you? Or that you haven't changed a bit and still want to help everyone? just like a long time ago. Give me a hug. You're my good and very kind girl. <laughs> Anton, please don't be a stranger. You can call me anytime, day or night, and I will always be glad to help you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Sonia told me that you've been dating for a short time. Hmm. 
Listen to me, Lydia. Please don't worry. If I'm here then, it means it's all very serious. I understand, Jenna. Can I call you Jenna? Of course, of course. It's just Sonia is so young and suddenly there is a wedding out of the blue and you should learn more about each other. Well, the wedding's not happening anytime soon. I need to register my divorce. Moreover, I also came over here to inform you that Sonia is moving in with me. With you? Yes, we've rented a flat. For the time being, while my life settles down. <laughs> well, I can't even <laughs> imagine what your father is going to say about this. No, well, I'm Mom, sorry, but I don't even know how to tell him about it. Mom, think of something. Come on, you can yes, do it. Yes, I can. I can do everything. But to be honest, I don't like all this silence. And your dad hates secrets, you know that. Help us, Mom. You're our only hope. Oh, why are you so early? Aren't you glad, Lydia? Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> I missed you so much. I was in a rush. I didn't even buy you a present. Will Sonia be offended? We're having what do guests you think? now, imagine. What guests? Yeah. Jenna from your work. <laughs> what is he doing here? He was on a work trip. Hello. Hi there. Uh, hello, Dad. I'll walk the guest out. Uh, I'm already leaving. Mm -hmm. Bye now. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. All right, give me a moment. Mm -hmm. Lydia, yes? I don't understand. What is going on? What was he doing here? He's a customer at our tailor shop. Oh, really? Yeah. Why haven't I heard anything about it before? First, tell me about Moscow. Oh, Moscow is great. We made a deal uh, really? with the partners. They're going to do business with oh, us. Imagine. Thank God. Also, do you know who I met? Well, do you remember Tanya, my schoolmate, the blonde one? <gasps> and so, anyway, she has so many connections, and she helped me so much oh. with the partners to make it all happen. Oh. If it weren't for her, I should. <laughs> Hello, how are you today? I'd like to speak to Tanya. Oh, this is an old friend of hers, Anton. She'll be there tomorrow? No, 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 no need. I'll call her back. I just wanted to thank her for some things she did for me. That was all. Thank you. Goodbye. Hello. Lydia. Hmm? Why don't we go to a shop? And we can buy you a new dress, huh? How long are you going to repair this old one? But why? It's a good dress. I like it. And you gave it to me for our 10th anniversary. Well, you see? If you're saying it's 10 years old, how about something newer? Something more fashionable, in better condition. Well, like I've told you, I like the dress. However, you will need a new jacket. We'll choose the model with the girls tomorrow, and it'll be ready by Sunday, I think. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. I mean, why do you have to create something? You have to make it and then fix it. We earn quite a lot. Why do we have to be so frugal? Why can't we go to a shop and buy a jacket for me and a new trendy dress for you? What's wrong with that? Hand me the glasses. In Moscow, perhaps, people waste all their money on useless things. Here, we save every penny for our daughter. Instead of buying ourselves new clothes. Hmm. Are you also going to tell me to do something with my hair that it's not fashionable or anything? That a short haircut is better? Actually, short hair would be nice. People also say that short hair highlighting is trendy. Really? I thought you preferred your wife like this. With this hairstyle. <laughs> Since we met during our third course, I thought that... Don't you want to try something new, change your look somehow? I mean, it wouldn't hurt. Hmm? 
Risa is pressing me at work and you're doing the same. I'm between a rock and a hard place. Perhaps you should listen to it. Perhaps your riser from work can be right sometimes. Maybe you should listen to yourself. Can't you notice that you're offending me? What has come over you? Lydia. Nothing has come over me. It's just that... I've noticed that we live somehow routinely. I... I think it's always the same. Home, work, and it's always the same, always. Year after year, week after week, day after day. I don't know, it's boring. It's routine. Don't you think so? I don't understand. Is it all because, uh, because of the stupid dress? Well, right. You've beaten me with a dress, so buy me a new one. But I'm not gonna do anything to my hair. Is it really about the dress? Lydia. You're not hearing me. For the first time in years. It's a pity. It really is. Why are you so sad today? Don't you want to tell me? Later. First I want to know. You better tell me where Sonia is. Sonia is sleeping over at her friends. Has anyone called for me? Partners, you mean? No. Hello. Hi there, Sonia. How are you? Listen, I hope you're not busy, but I wanted to ask, when are you finishing your classes? Uh-huh. Can we meet up? Well, how's school going? You ready for the exams? Dad, you're like an army man. Ready for the fight? I'm ready. Don't worry. It's all right. You need to understand that... that I'm worried about you. I'm worried about everything that is happening in your life and what you could be going through. Even in your personal life. Sorry. No, really. I understand that love is always very complicated. I don't know what your and Jenna's relationship is. You know? Dad, listen. If you're talking about Jenna and me are getting married, don't worry. Mom knows. She knows how? She's not happy at all with my choice either. Hold on a second. So Mom knows everything? <sighs> Lydia. I can't do it anymore. You know I'm not a tyrant, right? I don't give orders at home. I'm a very tolerant person. <sighs> Even when I'm lied to. And Anton. Tell me then, why are Sonia and Gina dating? No, not even why are they dating, but why have they been dating for a long time and I'm the last one to find out? I wanted huh? to tell you, but I, I... This is what you call an honest family, right? Lydia, is everyone in this house lying to me? What do you mean? I didn't lie to you, Anton. I just learned about it a little earlier. And moreover, I, 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 why can't they date? I don't want them to, Lydia. Because I don't want them to. Because he's twice as old as she is. He has great temples, he has two kids, he has a family. Anton, we need to sort it out calmly. 
It's serious. They decided to live together. What? No. Oh. She's not going to live at home anymore? Oh, that's great. Fine. Then since no one cares about my opinion, since no one bothers to ask my advice about it, my friends are right then. I'm useless and a loser. What I'm a waste friends? of space. What friends are these? Come on, the Vasilyevs would never say right. that. Right. Right. There it is. It only matters what they say. And your neighbors, too. This is what you care about. Anton. Anton, please listen to me. I... All right. Anton. Lydia, uh... I don't want any more scandals. I'm going to sleep at my friend's tonight. Uh... Anton, come on now. Stop this. We live in a, a small city. Let's not act funny, all right? Act funny? Is this funny? This is funny, right? Who needs advice? <laughs> From a funny boar. Not you and Sonia, apparently. All right. Live by your own advice, then. <laughs> Hello, Tanya? What is that? What's with my voice? Oh, no, no, it's, it's all right. I've just been missing you, and I wanted to call. What? Simply come over to your place. Well, that's a little uncomfortable. Tanya, it's you who can do it simply like this. I can't do it. All right, then, that sounds good. Yeah, me as well. Hello? Hello, Kalia. I'm going to Moscow for a while, just letting you know. All right, got it. Do you need a, a ticket for the night train, though? No, thanks. I already have it. Are you going to be there long? What shall I do with all the tender documents? Oh, I completely forgot. The documents. You know what? Go ahead and mail them to our Moscow partners. There's a business card on my table. Mm-hmm. I'll do it. hardly covering expenses. The revenues are very low here. We urgently need to look for new customers immediately, Lydia. Are you even listening to me, or what? Yes. Have you ordered a new sign, as I told you to do before? No. Did you agree on a discount with a neighboring fabric shop? No. Hey, Lydia, this is for you. Hello. Lydia, I'm in Moscow. Don't wait for me at home. Ah, uh, when are you coming home? From his work trip. Mm, yeah. Hi, Anton. 
Some strange force has brought me to your place. Is that bad? <laughs> it's very unexpected. Is it okay? <laughs> it's fine. You're on probation, though. <laughs> <laughs> These are for you. Thank you. Are you just gonna stand there in your jacket? <laughs> How have you decided to do it? Well, to be frank with you, I honestly don't even know. When I came back home, I looked at it all different. And my daughter left home for a married man, and I just found out about it. I put so much effort into raising her, and they knew everything and lied to me like I was nothing. It hurts a lot. Well, I... Poor boy. <laughs> Do you think so? Sure. You're my poor, handsome boy. <laughs> Hey, Sonia, would you like a cutlet? Thanks, Mom. I already ate. Mom, can you tell me, please? Tell me why did you tell Dad about Jenna so early? I asked you to choose time together. To at least prepare, Dad. But somehow you didn't listen. Well, honey, I didn't tell him anything. What are you doing? Packing my things, can't you see? Mom, I'm living with Jenna forever. What do you mean, forever? But I don't understand. Sonia, you live at... You live at home. Sonia! Mom, this is because I have my own life now. I'm an adult and you have your life with Dad. I'm not going to bother you and you're not going to bother me. That's it, Mom. This is my decision. I'm going. Oh, so this is your decision? Yes. <sighs> Sonia, could you please just think about it a little bit? He is still married. I should think about it, Mom? Jenna really loves me. I'm saying it like it is. You're still a child and you don't know anything about life. You'll be 35 and he's going to be 55. Your kids will be 10 by that time. How are you going to raise them we by yourself? We haven't thought about kids yet, Mom. You should think about it. You're a child and he'll get tired of playing Mom. with you. I don't want to talk about this anymore. We'll talk about it another time. Um, but come back right now. Anton! Oh, uh, Katya. What? Katya, stop crying so much, will you? How much is lacking? Is Kavrig in there? I'm on my way. Uh. Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> well then. I think Anton did really well. Right, Anton? I think I even deserve a round of applause, huh? <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Anton, what do you think? Would you like a glass of wine? Huh? No. no. I'd love to, but I can't right now. I have to drive everyone home. Nothing well, personal. Well, of course. There are no cabs. <laughs> we have to drive somewhere. All right, we're going then. Bye. <laughs> hey, hold on. Where are you going? We've got a restaurant booked for 6 o'clock. So we keep <laughs> skating. Yeah, by the way, we also need to stop by home and repair something in the kitchen. I've already called a repairman. What? We'll get everything repaired, and we're going to rest. Nothing hold to on. worry about. A repairman? <laughs> That's fancy life here. It's child's play. I can fix it, no problem. Oh, there stop are only two it with wires your wires already. No, really, Come let's on, speed a little more. Let them handle it. This is unbelievable. I just don't understand. Tell me, where could the money possibly go? Do you understand that you are responsible for it? I just 
I just can't get my head around this. How could you leave this safe open? Are you crazy? I don't remember. I had a terrible headache yesterday and insomnia. I've been uh, feeling very unwell lately. I'm really sorry about Do you about understand this. that you're going to answer for it now? You're financially responsible. You, not someone else. You! I'll compensate for everything. I'm just asking, don't deprive the girls of bonuses this month. All right. I'm waiting for a week. One week. Galia, uh, he hasn't shown up. I can't get through to him either. I've started worrying. Has he left the address? Oh, sure, I'm writing it down. Uh, uh-huh. The white zone is for immediate loading and unloading of passengers only. There is no stopping in the red zone. Oh, excuse me, I've been given this address. Uh, perhaps I, I wrote it down incorrectly? Whom do you need, Miss Georgievna? Well, I think she's at a banquet tonight. Uh, no, I need Anton. Mm, Anton Svetkov. Svetkov? His name sounds familiar. Hold on, this is our Anton. Right, Anton <sighs> Pavlovich? He's in the restaurant now, too, actually. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, could you possibly tell me how to get there? Hmm. Let me write it down for you then. Oh, thank you very much. Ah, uh, excuse me, I need to see... Good evening. Anton Pavlovich, his secretary told me... I beg your pardon? Um, what secretary? I need to get to the banquet. Do you need Georgievna? Yes, her name is Tanya Georgievna. I need to get in there. Are you an employee of the company? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, I, I'm I'm from the staff department. Excuse me, what is your name? Uh, it's Svetkova. Svetkova. Hold on a second. Friends, we're all here tonight for a very good reason. We are celebrating several events all at the same time. First of all, there's a new project that'll be led by Anton Pavlovich. My friends, let us make a toast now to Tanya Georgievna and to Anton Pavlovich to the new mutually beneficial project. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Just wait a second, wait one second. I'll deliver the second half for the toast. The thing is that my, my wonderful and beautiful boss not only built her business with her own hands, she also built her personal happiness. Therefore, let us all now make a toast to the newlyweds. Kiss now. 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 <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me let me explain to you straight away, okay? There is no wedding. We're just celebrating the beginning of a new project. That's it. <laughs> uh, presenter, could you come here a second? Do you have a program for the evening? Yeah. Stick to it, please, and don't let don't let Shumov on stage. You can see that he's a drunk. I'm sorry, I didn't know the details. There are no details, do you understand? Go on now. Ah, music, please. I'm gonna have a cigarette. Be back in a minute.
It's terrible. Damn. Did you burn I it? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. <sighs> you know what? I'll try it once again. And perhaps I'll I'll manage to do it. <laughs> but to be honest, I I never I never could cook and I never liked cooking. That's it. I simply can't do it. I have a great offer for you. Spaghetti. <laughs> I can make spaghetti. There's pesto sauce in the fridge. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Lydia, we've known each other for 10 years, right? And I've never had a single complaint about you for all those years that you've been here. I've closed my eyes to you, running somewhere during the break, whispering and gossiping, but you need you need to understand that there's theft here. It's plain as simple. You know very well that I couldn't take this money. But I admit my guilt, I left the safe open. I've covered for the loss. Is there anything else? Yes. I wanted... I wanted to talk to you, Lydia. You've become inattentive and forgetting lately. Did something happen? Is someone in your family ill? What's going on with you? No, I'm all right. My daughter has grown up and left and... My husband's like any other, I'm home alone. I know. I've been alone for five years. Huh. Lydia, you're a wise woman. You know well that everything will pass. I know that it's difficult, but if you dive deep into work right now, if you only think about your work. I hope so. But a woman shouldn't be alone. It's not right. Can I go now? I'd like to make it to the shop. My daughter promised to visit me on Saturday. Go on. The key. Yes, Sonia. Tell me what happened. Jenna has what? Pressure, huh? High pressure? No, honey, I understand. Of course that happens. Let's do it another time. I love you too, honey. I love you. Mm -hmm. Oh, he has high pressure. Hey, listen, Lydia, from the bottom of our hearts, we wish you to be happy and healthy and have everything at home. <sighs> Thank you so much, girls. Mm. Thank you so much. Mm. You know how they say happiness comes when everyone's home. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Come to visit me on Saturday. No, really. I'll bake something delicious and bring all your partners. Riza, bring your new boyfriend, too. He's welcome there. You know, everyone's curious. <laughs> all right. Uh, Thank I'm inviting you. everyone. <laughs> me too, right? <sighs> you too? All right, deal? Yes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Riza, could you give me the phone number of the hairdresser you've been recommending? I just thought I should. Mm. Sure, Lydia. Пожелаем мысли мои попробуй за
Anya? Hmm? You know Ryza found the money somehow. Hmm. Oh, really? She's surely able when she needs to be. Did she pay the interest too? Well, I don't know about the interest, but she repaid the debt in full. She brought all 30,000. No, really? Sit still, please. Hello? Lydia. Hello there. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have called, of course, but I just had to congratulate you. Thank you, Anton. How are you? Me? Ah, uh, there's nothing special. No, 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 it's all right. I bought a guitar, just like the one we had. When we were together. I... I'm happy to hear from you. Ah. I'm glad to hear from you, too. Goodbye. Hello. Hello. Where is the guitar from? I bought it for you. Well, and for myself, too. <laughs> Wonderful. I haven't sung in a hundred years. I don't even remember how to do it anymore. I'll remind you. Do you remember how we, how we performed at summer camp? Our performance took first prize. By the way, I still really love singing for my family. Hmm. Tanya, listen. Tanya. Tanya, I have an idea. Why don't we organize a get-together? Like when we were kids. You'll invite your friends. We'll show what we're capable of, all right? You see, Anton... It's all in the past now. The thing is that no one really organizes get-togethers at home anymore. Why? Well, everyone's trying to spend most of their time in restaurants and clubs, or on the lawns of country houses, at least. But if you really want to sing, we're going to our country house tomorrow. Shumov's gonna be organizing everything. There'll be a lot of guests, caterers and waiters. I hope you're not offended. No, of course not. Okay, sweetie, on behalf of us all, I'd like to say that we love you very much. Here's to your success. Yes, and to the thrifty housewife. <laughs> and the loyal spouse. Why isn't your Sonia here tonight? And Anton too, hmm? Aren't they showing up? Girls, please help yourselves. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Anton. He called to congratulate me. And Sonia gave me a talking parrot. Oh, <laughs> that's so lovely. <laughs> Hi, it's me. 
Oh, good evening. Listen, I'm so happy that all those loud guests have finally left, and we're finally alone together. Yeah. It's so romantic. You and I, and a fine bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> a person needs so little to be happy in life. That's not true, Tanya. I think a person needs a lot to be happy. Hmm. For example, let's take you. You've made a gigantic leap in life. Everything has changed for you. Now you finally have me. <laughs> a new life. No boredom and no routine. Oh, come on now. This is not about routine. I only want some, some love, understanding, and attention from you. Mm. And a baby, too. Hmm? So then you want to have more kids? More? What do you mean? You can't have too many of them. I've raised a daughter. Now I'd like to raise a son. Mm -hmm. By the way, you know, when Sonia was a little girl, she was just a, a sweet, sweet little berry. Yeah, a sweet <laughs> berry, and now she's bitter. Tanya. Ah, she lives with a grown man. Tanya, don't say that. No, really, I don't like it either. He's a harsh, authoritarian man. She loves him, you know? Mm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my love. You already have a baby, you know. <laughs> it is me. <laughs> You're my baby. Mm -hmm. All right, I suggest we make a toast now to our Beloved Lydia, here's to Lydia Vasilevna. Let her not be alone in this life. I'm not alone. I have a loving husband. Well, of course, I can see him over there in a framed photo, but, but I meant, I really meant something else. Uh, um, it's not right to be alone, especially today. And I also think it's not right to offend a woman while in her home. Oh, come on, Lydia. I never meant to offend you. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Everyone knows that your husband left you. You're the only one pretending that nothing happened. Confrignan is being nice to you. How are you behaving? It's indecent. Well, let's not talk about indecency. <laughs> indecent, you say? Well, since we're talking about that... Ryza, you were the one who took the money. 30,000 to repay some debt, isn't that right? <laughs> how dare you? How... How dare you, Lydia, huh? I mean, come on, how dare she? I know why you are doing it. I know it is because you envy me so much. I, this is because you're sitting here alone. And I'm not alone. That's it. Enough, let's go, girls. Come on, let's get out of here. Right, let's go. Come, let's see how she feels to be separated from the collective. You're going to be alone. You'll remember my words. I came to you with my heart wide open like like to be a friend. You think you're a princess? A director is not good enough for you? All right then, let's go. Good morning. Girls, I bought new tea on my way here. Would you like to try it? Mmm. Excuse me, Lydia. Come to my office for a sec. Listen, Lydia. There is a complaint about you. A collective one? There's no need for jokes. This is serious, Who's all right? Who's joking? It sure is serious. 
Do you have a clean sheet of paper? Oh, here's a pen, by the way. Are you going mm. to write your resignation? Do you see any other way? I'm sorry. almost forgot my present from my husband. All right, you're gonna need another try-on. We're gonna have to fit the skirt for you, all mm -hmm. right? And that's it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm already imagining myself in the restaurant with my groom. Oh, he's, he's such a good dresser, such a fancy pants. But I think he will love it. I hope so. Oh, why didn't I start doing this earlier? This is such a pleasure. I was sitting in that stupid tailor shop. I just didn't believe in me. <sighs> yeah, I had the same kind of period in my life, too. It was terrible. I thought I was ugly, stupid, useless. Back, it was mm -hmm. the work of my colleagues. They were just so jealous of me. Look at them now, right? I want you to remember this, Lydia. You have a talent <laughs> for seeing people beautiful. Seeing them for who they are. I spent day and night in jeans. I'm usual. I came to you and you showed me that I should wear dresses. <laughs> that I look beautiful in them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stand, stand. <laughs> oh, sorry, 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 Lydia. Okay. Lydia, can I send you two friends tomorrow? Can I? Of course you can. They need dresses too, you know, for the wedding. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. Yeah. Send them. Would you like me to lower the armhole? Mm -hmm. Isn't it tight? No. No, it's all right. Mm -hmm. Well... Oh, good evening. Uh, are you here for me? Ira sent you, I guess. Would you like to order something? Yes. All right, come in. Come in, please. Ira told me you wanted a dress and I've picked something. I'm gonna show you the magazines and you'll choose what you like. Take I a actually look here. lied to you. I'm not here for the dress. Honestly, I'm here for the husband. I'm Jenna's wife. You're the only person who can help me get my husband back. I'm sorry for coming so late. I, uh, I just saw the lights on. Uh, Sonia's already asleep. Did something happen? No. I'm here for you. All right, come in. Come in. Uh, oh. Well, thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Jenna, I just want you to know that I'm not against... I'm not against your relationship, really. All kinds of things happen in life. Good and bad things, it just happens. Uh, Anton left us, for example. Uh, left me, I mean. Tea, perhaps? 
No. I'm not saying the right things. I just want Sonia to be happy because she's my daughter. Hmm. Well, I understand this. And I'd like to know about your plans. Sonia's so secretive, she doesn't tell me anything. Well, come on, you're a grown man, aren't you? You had a family and you have children, you need to understand. What's ahead of you? Ahead? Well, ahead of us is, I'd say, is coexistence. Where, though? I mean, in this, in this rented old apartment? Well, I think this is a good apartment. <laughs> All right. <sighs> no, not here. Uh, I got a, a very promising offer. Therefore, we're going to head out to Vladivostok. To where? To Vladivostok. When is that? In the summer. Ah, that's right. Sonia's not telling you anything, but she's not telling you simply out of precaution. She's waiting because things are just unstable there. But it's okay, though. My friends hold a, uh, a very high position there. He's a big boss. Therefore, I don't think there will be troubles with employment. Just think about it. What's here? The city's small. There are no prospects. Especially for somebody who is starting out from zero. Well... In order to start out from zero, a person has to love someone very much. Do you love Sonia? Oh, love, huh? Such a fancy word. I don't like it. We have really good relations. Although, due to her age, she... Well, she, uh... Her expectations are too high, and she's asking for too much attention. Uh, these are faults of your upbringing, but, uh... That's bearable, though, I think. We'll fix it. We'll do what? Fix it. Fix it? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, I see you fix it. <laughs> she mistakenly loves you, though, madly. But she's more... Far more of an adult than you are. She's worried about your family. She's doing it for no reason. There's no need to worry about my ex-family. No need to. Unless she's worried that I'll return to it. Mm -mm. I won't do it. Why won't you return? It might still work out for you and your wife. What if it happens? If it happens. As my son says, things happen like that in stories. Moreover, you should know better. It's the same with you and Anton. You can't change the past. Huh? You thought you were right for him. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It means I wasn't the one for him. You have to be the one and only, don't you agree? One and only, one and only. Meaning he found a woman who was better than mm -hmm. me. You know what? I believe in it. I believe that if you really love someone, genuinely and with all your heart, then everything's possible. It's possible to understand, to forgive, and to return. It's too late. I mean, it's too late for this conversation that we're having. Yes, I'm sorry to be wasting your time. But you know what? I am terrified for my daughter. Have a good night. <laughs> yeah. Well, you like it? Oh, wow. It's all Lydia Vasilyevna's work. God, it's just so beautiful and with pockets. Oh, Lydia, I want that one too. Oh, no, no, no. Lydia Vasilyevna doesn't repeat the same model twice, and you know that. And also, her prices are quite unique. I'd say so myself. Oh, I know this. I'll even bring my mother to her. Well then, girls, I suggest we take a break. An additional service of our company, we get tea with pie. Hello, Sonia, my daughter. Hello there. How are you? Thank you, Dad. Jenna and I are all right. Well, I'm glad. I only want you to be happy. This is the most important thing for me. 
Sonia, tell me, how's your mom, huh? When did you last see her? I'm calling and calling and she's not picking up. Is she all right? Mm, of course she's not. She's pretending to be all right and happy. She's not picking up. She simply decided not to get in the way of your new life. What new life is that? I'm working double to pay for my own stupidity. Dad, please come back to us. We'll live just like we used to. No, Sonia. It won't be like it used to be. I have to go all the way now. It's all my fault. But you've taught me since I was a little girl. Happiness is the most important thing in the world. It's all right. Everything's going to be all right, Sonia. For you and for Mom. And for me, too. All right, my dear. Sending you love. Bye, Dad. Bye, dear. Oh my god, Lydia, you're a wonderful cook, too. Well, my girls, the kitchen is my thing. Mm-hmm. Right? Whatever people say, the kitchen is the most important thing for a woman. I like your place a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. But you should... You should maybe upgrade it a bit. Modernize it. Mm, it's a bit, a, a bit old-fashioned. Why don't we decorate it? <sighs> How should I do that? We will decorate and update your cupboards with fine decoupage. Have you heard about it? Oof, no, I haven't. <laughs> but you're not the first one who suggests redecorating. Here you go. Mm. And we'll get you married, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a neighbor, a stale man with a mustache, mm -hmm. a colonel. Well, I'm afraid I'm a bad candidate in this respect, girls. That's not for me. I'm a one-man woman. Well, then, could you possibly try? Mm-hmm. Mm I suppose men are just men. Oh. What about the decoupage? Ah, How is it? It's like this. Can I have some too? No. Not anymore. Only juice. Mm. Here you go. I have a toast. We've been together for only two months and 12 days, and there have been so many pleasant events and wonderful times. I'd like to toast to us. To us, then. Well, to us and to our son. You know, I just can't believe that you're going to give birth to my child. I really, I really hope it's gonna be a boy. Uh, Anton, hold on, please. I've, I've already told you that it, um, it was a very difficult decision for me. Tanya, I understand. When your life has worked out so well, it's very difficult to Anton, decide to have stop. a baby. Anton, just don't interrupt me. It's really very difficult for me to speak to you now. I just want you to understand me. Not everything in my life has been as nice and fun as I wanted. Not everything came easy. I've been able to internalize it and put on my happy face, but now I feel like you need to know this. Hmm. Ah, the alcoholic father who left me and mom. And then there was Dima, who left me pregnant and left me with all these debts. Ah, uh, I'm just so... I'm just so afraid to have children. I can't handle it. Tanya. Tanya, don't be afraid. I'm not leaving you. You're not hearing me! Can... Can you understand me? Anton, I... 
I went to the doctor yesterday. What? Did something happen? Is there something with the baby? God, are you deaf? Can't you understand? Anton, I had an abortion! How? <coughs> Tanya. Look, Anton, don't tell me anything now. I'm begging you. Yes. Don't teach me how to live. I don't understand how you, you imagine all of this nonsense. How would it be? A, a child running around this house? I have been building this business alone for 10 years. I can't even go away for a weekend. I need Tanya, to keep everything on. under what constant control. control. Tanya, wait, I... What are you talking about, Tanya? Tanya, you need. You what must children? understand. What, I'm what, worried what like any man here? would be. What's this business of yours for? Whom are you going to leave it in for 20 years? Oh, please mind your words. I'm not going to die now. That won't be for a while, right? I'm sorry. I'm. I'm not. I'm not minding my words. But you're not minding your actions. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lydia's the one who suffered. She suffered the most. Oh, God. Oh, really? And my daughter, Sonia. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I've understood everything. <laughs> I guess it's time for me to leave. Uh -huh. I'll return home. Uh-huh. I'll be with my daughter. She's in a very difficult situation right now. It's all messed up, too. I need to support her somehow. You look really pale. Have you eaten? I'm not hungry, Mom. And I feel sick and tired. You're pregnant. No. Jenna doesn't want anything at all. He keeps saying that I hound him, that I behave like a child. Sometimes it seems to me that he doesn't need me. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, Sonia, it was your choice. But it's never too late to change anything. On top of it, Dad's not home. Mom, do you actually miss him at all? A lot. Call him then, and tell him that you miss him. He'll be so glad to hear it. He hears saying that it's never too late to change everything. No, it will just tear my heart to pieces. I can't.
Lydia? Lydia, hello. I fell asleep. I'm really sorry. I'll leave soon. Where to? Where to? To try to look for a place to live. No need to worry. I'm not gonna bother you. I'm not worrying. I just think that it's too late to go and look for something. You want to smoke? Thank you. But I don't smoke anymore. Uh-huh. At all. I have to say, you look amazing. You look younger. Well, thank you. Um, Lydia, I don't know what else I should say for you, for you to forgive me. You don't have to say anything. I've forgiven you and you don't need to go anywhere or look for anything. This is your home. You can live here for as long as you need. <sighs> now, please forgive me. Forgive me for making you live through so much. I've realized just now how much you mean to me. You and Sonia. How is she? Sonia, Sonia's bad. You see, he's going to take her to Vladivostok. Where to? Vladivostok. You see, he's gonna fix her. Do you know what he said? That she demands too much attention. He thinks we brought her up badly. Can you believe that? And I said, do you love her? Oh, it's so good that you're here. I was under the impression that I was with an adult. She has new demands every day. She doesn't like this and that. She says I'm shouting at her. At least I'm not hitting her. Now she's sending her dad to deal with it for her. I wonder what's coming next. Jenna, she's still a child. Mm -hmm. You're a grown man. Mm -hmm. You have to understand she needs your love, your attention. 
Not Vladivostok. Tell me exactly how mean I am. Go ahead. Come on, tell me. Did I run away from my dull wife to listen to you ramble on, or to her, perhaps? Jenna, she's my daughter, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to let you hurt her. You won't let me. Take her if you don't like me. <clears throat> You're a piece of crap, not a man. Well, my girls, the spring's here. <laughs> the sun came out just for the Sunday lunch. <laughs> All right, stop, stop, stop. Well, my girls, I have a toast to make. Sonia, my daughter, here's to you. You know how much your mother and I love you. <sighs> We're very happy that you're home again. Anything can happen in life. It's all right. You'll meet your love. <laughs> you're gonna meet a nice guy. <laughs> and you're gonna get married to a nice guy. We want you to be the happiest girl alive. It's a pity that you're our only child. No, <laughs> no, it's not a pity. It's actually a joy. You'll get married to a good man. What's next? Your mom and I will be alone again. Well, here's the thing. If it will be all right, <laughs> if everything all works out for the best, and it's meant to be, of course, then in September, <laughs> somewhere around the 5th, <laughs> All right, I'm pregnant. Oh. <laughs> you are? <sighs> oh, yeah. Lydia. Hmm? Why have you... Why have you been keeping silent no, all No, I this haven't. Time? At first, I couldn't even believe my eyes. I thought I was just nervous and thought that I was feeling badly. And uh, and then when I realized, I, I, I didn't want to blackmail you or for you to pity me. Lydia. Oh, my God. You've been through so much, my dear. <laughs> Hello, Lydia. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm sorry, I couldn't get through to you on the phone, and I'm just here for a second. It's about business. Sit down, Aya. All right, just is there a anything second. wrong with the dress? Yes, all right. So the dress is... Okay, the dress is all right, and... Well, I'm just here for... For a different reason, really. I mean, okay, so this is what happened. My husband buys this apartment, right? Right smack in the middle of the city, okay? In the middle of the city, just right there. Really expensive building, okay? And he has no idea what to do with it right now. I mean, no idea. And neither do I. So I was thinking and offered to open up a private tailor house. And I'd like to formally offer you to have a share in it with us. And so that's it. What do you think? Who, me? Well, yeah, you. No, of course not. What share? Lydia, come on. Right. Lydia, say yes. Come on. Say yes, of course. Of course she'll want shares with you. Oh, come on, Lydia. Say yes, please. Well... Sonia and I will take care of the baby, right? Come on, Mom. Lydia, please say yes. I... Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs>